Here I am again at Knott's. Today is the day that they are opening Camp Snoopy. Super excited! So I got here at 10.15. So right at opening. Line's a little crazy. So you wait in this long line here just to go right there and be turned around and put in this line because you have a bag. So just make sure you go to the correct line. I just drove six hours from Las Vegas without stopping to eat. I had to charge my car a couple of times. So first stop, I need a snack. <laughs> I got the cart all to myself. <laughs> Look at a baby bear. Mama bear. Oh, I got a little wet on that one. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Let's see if I can actually, oh, there's a little school bus on that box. Let's see if we can actually get the uh, Sasquatch in the frame this time. I always go by him backwards and stuff. There he is. I got him. Welcome campers to Camp Snoopy. Today, Camp Snoopy was opened. I've been here since it opened. <laughs> um, but it's not done. The swing is not finished. Um, a lot of the adult friendly, family friendly rides are actually not. <laughs> um, Try to get into the new roller coaster and hurt myself doing so. It's always crazy over here, but just as much as usual, even with the rides that are open. Mud buggy is good. It's our little dude's favorite. And don't get me wrong, the coaster is super cute. But unfortunately, it was marketed as family friendly, meaning adults could run it. And not all adults can ride it. I am six foot tall, so I cannot ride it. All of those adults that are on there right now are five, six. Oh, that's cool, it goes around twice. Bathrooms are open. Oh, 
like the little animatronics over there. Very cute, very well done, but not adult friendly at all. If you're five, six, five, seven, even five, eight, you should be okay as long as you're not obscenely overweight. They don't have the river on. It's my favorite part of the park. They were trying to fill it earlier, but uh, I don't know. I don't know what happened. I don't fit in that one, but I have ridden it um, once when I was 10 pounds heavier than I am now, and for some reason now I don't fit in it. It makes no sense. Um, which is funny because the other swing, the adult swings over in Fiesta Village, I'm too wide. My hips are too big. They just don't go in it. Um, I have zero issues at Universal, zero issues at Six Flags, Zero issues at Disney. Only here. I can ride this one. This one's okay. It's not great. She has to push down. I have a little bit of a badonk badonk. But I can get in it. I can ride the balloons. But I have to ride it by myself. My son does not fit in it with me because my legs are too long. Which is funny because my husband is 6'3", six, 6'4", six, and I'm 6'1". Now, I mean, typically women have longer legs, but they fit just fine. Um, the train, the electric train, the one that they changed from a regular train to an electric chain does not, doesn't work. Sad. Charlie Brown got a rock. But uh, yeah, I was also looking forward to this. I don't know if I fit in it. I mean, I did the last time I wrote it a year ago. And then this is the new restaurant. Well, the restaurant's been here, but they redid it. I love these windows, but they are in dire need of a good wash. That girl's outfit is so cute. She's all pink and yellow, her hair too. I love it. This is probably where I'm gonna have dinner tonight. I gotta go out to the car and change because I went on some water rides today. They definitely need to turn the AC. None of the buildings have AC on today. I don't know why, and it's so hot. Love it, super cute. But uh, I don't see anything Snoopy, or Camp Snoopy for that matter. I mean, it's Camp E, it's definitely Lodge. should put some uh, wood stock and um, other characters in there. I think it'd be cute. And then we still have 
flying ace. Sierra Sidewinder. Still there. Still can't fit in it. It's great. My very first time ever at Knott's. Um, two years ago, I was able to ride that ride. And I weighed 20 pounds more than I do now. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't understand. I don't know what I did wrong, what I did different. This was supposed to be the stage area. They put fake grass, which only attracts heat. And then they put these poles, I'm assuming for covers. The covers aren't up. We still have no Snoopy clock on the store either. But it seems to have been replaced by a very nice um, stained glass. So that's nice. Lots of cute merch. Oh, I love the beach bag. Love all this beach stuff, for sure. Knott's is my happy place. It was for a long time, two whole years. And then every time I come back, it seems like they're, I don't know. I don't know. I like the security shirt though. I think I might have to get that for daddy and little dude. Posting through life. All right. Okay, some board games. That's nice. Love this bag. Some of the merch is the same. I like the 2024 stuff. All the yellow for Charlie Brown. Goes. Like the umbrella, way over there. Love this bag. But yeah, so that is my review of the new Camp Snoopy. We'll be back in a couple weeks. Hopefully, some improvements will be made. Not, like I said, I'm not really sure why they opened when they weren't even close to being ready. And. I don't know why they were marketing it as family friendly when it's still very much for children, which is fine. I mean, that's, that's fine. I was just excited to ride some rides with my son. We still have that there. I don't know what they're going to do with that. But this got up in time, which I know a lot of us were worried about that. But uh, yeah, I'm going to go out to my car. I'm going to change. Cool down a little bit, let my phone charge, relax, and then come back in later. Catch you on the flip side. Oh, they got a purple one. So now that I'm back, I decided to ride the Jeeps because I didn't try that earlier. The seatbelt is so tight. It hurts, but I was able to get in it. But this ride moves so slow, it is unreal. The decor and theming is really good, and I'm glad to see they planted more trees. It will definitely give us a lot more shade. I wonder what that's gonna be. We got a tent. Bear in area. We have cameras. The cameras tell you where the vehicle's at. You can see it from the um, control panel up front.
cute little woodstock. This is definitely a cute ride, but if I were not, I would definitely add a couple of bumps, like little tiny, tiny bumps, just to make it a little bit more exciting for the little ones. You know, maybe a small water feature right here. Um, just something to kind of plus it, because it is a little on the boring side. Another little camera on top of the pole there. Looks like they might still build something. I don't know if that's going to be for the Halloween season or for this. Looks like the characters are still covered. It's really sad this train was not running today. That's pretty much everything for today. Um, I drove all the way down here from Las Vegas just for this, by myself. Overall, I think it's cute, and they did a good job with that little coaster. It's just too bad it is not family friendly. Um, I guess they just set the bar really high with Fiesta Village. I thought the remodel for Fiesta Village was gorgeous. And I really don't understand why they opened when it's not finished. But, oh well. We'll be back in a couple of weeks. Thank you guys so much for watching.